Where does the world of economics go from here? I think we're at a transition point, not just in economics, but really in the uh, understanding and application of the entire market capitalist system of a kind that has occurred probably only three or four times before since the creation of, of, of capitalism. And I'm actually uh, writing a book about this, uh, which is called Capitalism 4.0. The argument I make is that the capitalist system in its more or less modern form uh, arose in the late 18th century. Uh, since then, it's gone through three transitions. Uh, the first was the creation of capitalism. The second was the 1930s, when the classical capitalist system essentially broke down and the new system, Keynesian economics, came along, which had a much greater role for the government, a much smaller role for the markets. That in turn broke down in the late 60s, early 70s, the period of rapid inflation, high employment, stagflation. That led to the next transition into what I call Capitalism III, the third version of capitalism, which was Thatcher, Reagan, what's come to be called market fundamentalism, a period in which it's assumed that the markets are always right and the governments are always wrong. In the Keynesian period, it was the other way around. The markets were always wrong and the governments are always right. I think the crisis of 2007-09 may well uh, give rise to the next transition, towards what I call a fourth form of capitalism, in which we recognize that both the markets and the governments are often wrong. They're right much of the time, but they're also wrong much of the time. And therefore, there has to be a much more experimental, much more broad-minded approach to the interaction between market forces and governments, between economic decision-making and political decision-making. They have to work together in a sense with a kind of mutual respect that we haven't had for the last 200 years. So I think that's going to be the next phase of capitalism. And I think economics as a discipline has to find a way of analyzing and describing that more complex interaction between markets and political decision-making, which at the moment we don't have.